Hey guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here. So I've got quite a different video today that I wanted to film. So all over summer I've been using some really good makeup I think. There's no foundations in here, no primers or anything like that um, because I didn't really find a favourite. I've been seeing these videos go around about top three products in every category. I'm not doing anything like that, I'm just showing you the favourites that I've actually been loving using this past summer and I've not done anything like this for, I don't even know if I've done anything in this format ever on my channel. Um, I might have done something similar so let's get the cheap products first. So let's talk about these and then I've got a crap ton of eyeshadow palettes to talk about. I'm not doing it least favourite to favourite, we're not ranking them, we're just talking about them. So first of all I've got this sleek face palette, it's called the Face Form Contouring and Blush Palette and they still sell them um, and it's in the shade Light. So that looks like that. So we've got a bronzer, a highlighter and a blush and it is very reminiscent of the ABH face palette so you can save so much money by just buying that. I think it's about 9 99 or it was when I bought it. I've had it quite a long time, years. Um, don't judge, I mean it's still fine. I just love, like the best thing about this palette is this blush here. I don't have my NARS orgasm anymore. You know, it's good that I've got this. I mean just look how pink and glowy that blush is. I'm hoping you can see it. Um, so that's that one. I'm not going in any order. So this Oh my gosh, Ride or Die Highlighter. So it's Benefits Cookie. And as you can see, I've hit pan there. If you can't see, because I've had to put the external light on, because it is gloomy AF in the UK, it's going to rain. Um, I, will, I will take pictures of things, just so you can see the usage and whatnot. Now let's do my other highlighters by Primark. So I've got a picked two of these up this summer so we've got the PS Golden Glow so it's as it says it's golden um, and then this PS Rose Glow oh my gosh this one for sure is my favourite out of the two really really inexpensive £3.50 each so you can see it's had quite a lot of use um, you're getting quite a lot in these I've just noticed 7.5 grams or 0.26 ounces so you're getting a lot of product it will last ages um, and you probably won't hit pan for a while but I've only just brought these into my collection a few months ago and then this is the rose glow one it's like a gold but then it has like a pink shift to it absolutely gorgeous if I can only recommend one it would be this so that's those Oh yeah, another blusher. It's only recently come into the collection but I absolutely love it. It's this little mini by Benefit. It's in the shade Crista. Absolutely stunning. It's a really nice rosy tone blush. The only thing I don't like about these blushes is the scent guys. I'm not going to swatch everything um, but that's that one there. Unlike, this, unlike the sleek one it does have a really nice glow. Let's talk about this bronzer that Amy sent to me. I couldn't believe it when she said that she's got one of these for me because well, let's just be honest and call a spade a spade. I think these go for like £40 or something like that. I would not pay £40 for this guys. Never ever have I spent £40 on a bronzer. I'm not really... I like bronzer but I'm not massively into it, um, I'm much more of a blusher girl, I really really appreciate you getting it for me Amy, um, but personally like if I had to buy something for £40 it wouldn't be this, what shade is this? Divine Bronzer Nude Honey, I think it's one of the lightest shades. Um, and not only that, with the new collection coming out, you don't have to buy singles anymore like that because you get a bronzer, a blush and a highlighter. So if I wanted to try the bronzer, I would have probably just got one of those face palettes when they come out. But that's £40. I'm going off on a Pat McGrath Labs tangent now. So I want the pink palette. They brought a pink big palette out and they brought a purple palette out, haven't they? So the ball's pink and then the other one's purple. And um, I really, really want the pink one. 
I can't remember the name of it, I'll insert it into the video. Um, and that comes with two blushes and the swatches look absolutely amazing. So I'm definitely going to be getting that when it releases on the 28th. Um, let's talk cream blushes now. I haven't got that many in here. What's that? Oh, that's off my camera. I wondered why it was looking a bit weird. I'll sort that out later. The lens cap. These. If you live anywhere they can get Barry M from, guys, they're absolutely gorgeous. They're like serum blushes. I don't like them by themselves, but mixed, I absolutely love them. So we've got, okay, so we've got Summer Rose, that one there. And then we've got Peach Glow, that one there. Absolutely adore them. Right, let's talk about this um, blush by Mitchell. Well, made by Mitchell. Um, it still goes under made by Mitchell. I just call him Mitchell. I mean, what are we besties? <laughs> um, so anyway, this one's in strawberry cream. Guys. Mm -mm -mm. It is so good. Right, so I like it as blush, but there's this trend at the moment. So basically, you put some concealer down and you put this kind of like in the inner corner and in the middle and you blend them both out together and it brightens your under eye so so much i've been using it to do that a lot i mean i could quite easily put this in my concealer drawer you know um but i do want to use it as blusher as well so i've basically taken it out of my shop my stash and just put it in my blusher drawer just because i don't want to use it all up i mean I think at the moment on TikTok, most of his blushes are like £5 plus like £3.9 shipping. But if you get two or three, I think the shipping's free. Um, I don't need any more blushes of his. I've got loads. Um, I'm not really buying cream blushes at the moment just because I've got so many cream and liquids. So, yeah, I don't think I'll get anything else from his collection. But... If you've not tried his um, blushes, they're really, really good. So I've got Drip Drip. It's so nice. I've never used it. I need to use it in this upcoming Shop My Stash. Um, let me show you what it looks like. So still in the box. I have swatched it a few times. So this one's Drip Drip. This one's really metallic. It's, it's like an olive greeny gold. It's just so pretty, guys. That's what it looks like on the doe foot. Let's do a little swatch of it. And it is so metallic. So I thought with a really neutral matte underneath and then just like this over the lids. Oh my gosh, it would look so, so good. Anyway, I want to get more kind of metallic wet looking shades like this. Um, so I can do that kind of one and done eye look. It's not a favourite, but I just thought I'd... It's, it was kind of like a mention. Um, I think I got this in a mystery bag. Yeah, I, yeah, I got this in a mystery bag. It was, yeah, it was a drip drip mystery bag um, a few months ago. But look. Need to use that soon. Right, so the next thing I want to talk about is this. Oh my gosh, where have I been? Why have I not been using it? I didn't like this kind of shade for such a long time. So that's it there. Um, so this shade is called Petal. They don't do this shade anymore. Back in the day, like I'm talking years ago, this is the packaging that they used to put those blushes in. I'm glad that they've changed the packaging to a smaller compact and... I'm glad that there's no negative space like this and they've stopped putting these stupid brushes in that aren't worth anything. I mean, I keep mine in there because I just don't want to look at negative space like that. Um, but anyway, this blush, I'm wearing it today. Guys, it is absolutely beautiful. So I do want the other one that they've got. I think it's a lighter pink and it's called Pink. And then they've got one called Cherry and they've also got one called Coral. Um, so there's at least three Dior blushes that I want. Um, but I've been using this so, so much and I think it's just going to stay in my makeup collection. I know we're not in the right season for it, but... So from my point of view, I wear it whenever I want. I don't just have to wear warm blushes in the fall and then um, pinks and things like that in spring and summer. I've only just started really, really loving that. Um, so 
that's that. And then this is another thing I've only just really started loving. Originally it came into my shop, my stash, because I wanted to work on the finishing powder. But guys, this again has got another pink blush in it. This one here. So that one is called, let's have a look, Vibrant Heat. Um, so that's called, Vi is it? Yeah, Vibrant Heat. Um, I've been using this finishing powder here. There's a real big dip there. Um, and I have just been using this. And then I've been using the bronzer. So the bronzer is called Glistening Bronze Light. And then this blushy down here, it's okay. It's nice to use when you're doing a warm eyeshadow look. And then this highlighter here, it's not blinding. So it's nice to use when you're going somewhere where it doesn't call for a blinding highlighter like maybe a job interview or something like that or you want to do minimal makeup I absolutely love this I've been looking at the new hourglass palettes and in the UK they're £89 there is no way I'm going to pay £89 when I've got all this product left I mean look by next year I know for a fact that that powder will be done um, I don't know about the rest of the palette, but then I'll be able to give myself permission to actually buy another one. But then I'll be able to give myself permission to buy another one. I don't want to be one of these people that every single year when they bring out a new one of these, buy one. Because £89, guys, is a lot of money. So yeah, I taught myself how to buy in that. Right, so now we're going to talk about something I really, really didn't like this past summer. And in general, I don't like it. It gets so much hype. And I've gone from loving one Dior thing to really, not despising it, despising it is a strong word and it's only makeup at the end of the day, but I don't like it. Um, so we've got this Dior um, 004 Rose Gold Palette. Looks like that and it looks like I've used it a lot, which I have. These are so expensive, so, so expensive. Money doesn't grow on trees and... I'm not going to let this go without using it all, um, but I wouldn't repurchase it. Like for me personally, it's not a ride or die. It's basically, I can get better than that from drugstore. And that just really sticks here because at the end of the day, what is it, £30, £40 for that palette? And I could have, I could have got another Dior blush. Um, next up is the Michaela glam light highlighter oh my gosh guys so so pretty you can see i've used it a lot so i've taken the plastic out of it um absolutely love these two highlighters as face highlighters but also as eyeshadows as well i use this as an eyeshadow i can't use it as a face highlighter it's very very pigmented i'm just looking at the um made by mitchell blush as well in drip drip and that is the same shade so that could go underneath if i didn't feel like it was pigmented enough the blush um so that's handy but yeah really really enjoyed using that i don't think they sell it anymore do they so i was lucky to get it when i did i got mine from beauty boxes by tammy um so if you're in the uk i would check her site out because obviously if you're going to order from glam light direct you're going to incur charges and possibly customs as well. But when Naomi sent me the Ice Cream Dream palette, I didn't get any customs. It was all included in the charge. So I think they don't do that anymore. So, But you can also get Glam Light from a company called Boozy Shop. That's where I got my chocolate martini palette from. So there are places in the UK you don't necessarily have to go over to Glam Light and order. But yeah, that is that one. Oh... There's only a few more things now in, like, face products. This, ride or die. Um, so this is the Patrick Tar for face, and it's in the shade Do We Know Her. I've had this a while now. I think in February 2024, it'll be two years, because I remember Karen got it before my birthday. It doesn't smell. It looks like it's got one of my hairs in, though, so that's great, isn't it? Um, but I absolutely love this. This needs to go back into my shop, my stash, and that will stay in. I'm going to try and finish it up. I absolutely love Patrick Tar blushes, and I was looking at a face palette. It was on sale in Harrods, 
and I'm like oh I need it you know I was talking to Lisa about it and I'm like oh my gosh I need this so much and I talked myself out of that and then it was the same for the Bridgerton palette I've been looking at that so I've been looking for that Bridgerton Love at First Blush palette for a reasonable price now for so so long um, on Sephora it's £50 in the UK so on Sephora it's £50 in the UK and, and Lisa was looking in the sale at the Pat McGrath Labs and we saw it for £25 I'm like that's really really good it's a really good value so, so I went to YouTube and had a look at someone using it and I'm like right but I'm like right okay so the pink blusher is not glowy I mean I've got a thing at the moment where I'll only buy glowy blushes I really really like glowy blush don't like matte and then there was a dusky rose shade in there as well that is glowy um, and then there's a highlight of what is too dark for me so there's basically nothing in that palette for me so I didn't get that either I taught myself out of that I have taught myself out of so much um, and I've got a video actually coming up next is this so this is a rare beauty jeep it's from Primark only cost £3.50 and it's in the shade peach I don't think that's peach it's orange it's really really pretty do you a swatch look how vibrant that is that's orange it's not peach I don't know what these companies think they're doing when they name products because that like is that peach oh there is a few products actually Right, then we've got this Give Beauty Mini Lipstick. Oh my gosh, guys. I've only had this a couple of months, but I absolutely love it. It's in the shade Original Recipe. I won't swatch it because I'll struggle to get it off my hand, but it is absolutely stunning. I've been loving using that this summer. Right, and then there's this. I lost this, and, and I remembered I'd put it in here to talk to you about um, when I film my favourites. This is one of my best blushes for summer so I want to get the shade pink pop they've gone up to £25 I bought this when it was £19 so for it to go up £6 I think I'm gonna wait until there's a sale on but I definitely want to get pink pop these are really really like the satin but they're really really glowy and I think that pink one would look really nice in my collection um, so I do want to get that eventually um, but I'll settle for this for now and also I've got two from Naomi um, so they'll be coming out in the fall winter so yeah that's going back in my I don't think I'll put it back in my shop my stash I think I'll put it back in my blushes I really enjoyed using this as well when I used it so it's the Becca um, beach tint and it looks like that it's really nice it smells like watermelon quite sheer though so that's that one there if you can see it right let's talk about this so I really really enjoyed using this but it needs to go somewhere else not in Korean blushes and I bet you're thinking to yourself well where are you going to put it um I'm going to put it in my lipsticks oh, guys it looks so so good as a lipstick it is too vibrant for the cheeks it's too pigmented um and yeah i just don't like it on the cheeks so that's that that can go back and then the last thing i really enjoyed using is this 17 second skin right this is looking extremely dark i have got the light on a little bit but i don't want it to wash out everything um so I'm sorry if it's not as bright as normal but like I said the weather is terrible anyway let's go on to the palettes I was thinking about doing them um, least favorite to favorite but because I've not done the cheap products like that I'm not going to do that so what I'm going to do is just tell you what I've been loving um so the first one is this <sighs> I just love it guys so it's the Kleidos flower punk palette it's the only Kaleidos palette I've got I do want to get more from the brand but I got this from Beauty Boxes by Tammy um, and she doesn't have anything more on there apart from quads she's got like a cool tone quad and a purple quad the new releases and I don't really want to be paying £25 for four eyeshadows so this is what it looks like oh my gosh it is so so pretty to me this isn't just a summer palette like we can take it like from summer up till this point 
these here are more your fall and winter. That green there, um, what's it called? Sun Gazer is just absolutely stunning. That pink is stunning, stained glass and aloe cave. I just love the formula of them. Um, I don't want to be swatching everything, but it is absolutely a stunning, stunning palette. The only thing is, I wish they would have put one more shimmer in. Like, considering it's, what, two, four, six, eight, nine, and we're only getting, what, three shimmers. That's just, like, a quarter of the palette and shimmers, and the rest is um, mattes. Um, I don't like that, but that is my only critique of the palette. The actual um, mattes blend out really, really nicely. And the shimmers, oh, the next level. Next one, and they're not in order of me using them either. Next one is a new one that's come into the collection. It's the Cosmic Brushes Delicious Delights. And when I got this, when I saw it, I really, really liked it. And then when I ordered it, I'm like, I really wish I hadn't ordered it. I bought one for me and I bought one for a friend. Um, so I'm like, mm. I've just paid £50 for two eyeshadow palettes. I think what got me is the more expensive, but the more expensive because you're getting a multi-chrome. And multi-chromes can go for £15, so I don't know what I was complaining for. Um, anyway, it came, and I'm like, do I even like that colour story? Now, I just absolutely, I love it, guys. I absolutely love it. I've done some beautiful looks with it. I'm not going to put loads of looks in, but if I can find a look from each palette, I will put it in the video. I'll, it just takes a lot of time in editing. Um, but this shade here, Sprinkles, let me show you. It's so smooth, and that is the shade there. Have I got some arm room to swatch it? Oh my gosh. I'm really hoping you can see that. I'll get out of the frame. Right, so that's that. So that's the Delicious Delights. Another palette I absolutely loved. I got this from my sister last Christmas. So I remember this coming out. And um, I think Lisa told me about it. She went, are you going to get it? Um, and I looked on Juvia's Place. And the shipping isn't that much on Juvia's Place to the UK. And I'm like, hmm, I've got enough pastel palettes. Um, and then it came to Beauty Boxes by Tammy. And my sister was saying, what do you want for Christmas? And I went, that. <laughs> um, gosh almighty. This is nothing like I've ever tried from Juvia's Place before. There's shifty shades in here. The formula is absolutely stunning. It's probably one of my favourite pastel palettes. I like this. This is an extremely bold statement. I like this better than the Natasha Denona pastel palette. So yeah, that's a really good one. So so speaking of Natasha Denona, I used the Natasha Denona bronze palette in the summer. I think you can use this in summer and you can also use it in fall, which I'll probably do. But it looks, I mean, it's so, so warm for the summer. I absolutely loved using this as well. Um, so that's that one. And then, of course, we've got this. It comes out every spring and summer. The Natasha Denona Pastel Palette. And you can see they're really getting used now. Especially Tool. I absolutely love that shade. And Illusion. And some of these shades, to a certain point, remind me of my Juvia's Place. Let me show you. Right, so this is the one that I meant. Juvia's Place, the Deuce. So, let me show you. There's only a few shades, a couple of shades actually. So we've got two here. That pink one reminds me of that. Um, then we've got Illusion. That, oh the pink one here is called Creme. I've hit pan there. Um, and then we've got Tight, which reminds me of Illusion up here. Um, then we've got this Macaron shade, which reminds me of Adriatic. Then we've got this Mont Blanc shade down here, which reminds me of Mint Frost. Is that it? Yeah, because there's no light brown tones in the pastel palette. But, I mean, there's this purple, oh sorry, there's this purple shade here called Custard. 
um, it's not exact um, but this one but Bora is just a little bit darker um, so yeah you've got a few similarities in the Deuce palette but then this one is really really good I also had let me get it because I've not spoke to you about it so I also had the mini version of the pastel palette as well which I really enjoyed using this past summer. Amy kindly gifted it to me. Um, so yeah I really really enjoyed using these shades. Um, next spring I think I'm going to pull it out. It came after I used the Natasha Denona pastel palette. So next spring I think I'm going to pull that out and use it with the Natasha Denona pastel palette because I think they'll be really really nice together there we go so yeah I think they'll work well together right okay so next one this one isn't my most favorite pastel palette it's a BH Cosmetics Lost in Los Angeles palette and it took me ages to get on board with it I've had it a couple of years now I don't know if you're going to be able to see it but the very very powdery the shimmers um, I've always liked the mattes never had a problem with mattes never had a problem with blending and yeah, I've gotten to like it a lot more. I think because I've used it a lot more this past summer than previous, um, I've gotten to like it a lot more. So it's definitely going to stay around the collection. Then I've got this one. So this is my own interpretation of the Winx Club palette that I just can't get hold of. It's such a shame that I missed out the first time round. Um, so it looks like that. It's absolutely stunning. This one I'm really close to hitting pan on. Um, I've changed it up though, like if you've got the Winx Club palette and you're thinking oh it doesn't look anything like it, I agree it doesn't because I've changed it up to make it more unique to me. Like I love yellows so I put quite a lot of yellows in and I don't think you get yellows there. You get blues in that one and I don't have any blue palettes by Colourpop so I wanted to make it more unique to me and I'm going to leave it like this. I didn't know whether I was going to leave it like this. I thought I might just put the shadows back from the, what's it called, Truly Madly Deeply, but I'm going to leave it. I prefer this looking like this than the Truly Madly Deeply. I never got on board with the shades in that. I've still kept the majority of them. They're in a palette elsewhere. It's the only one left. Yeah, last one, guys. So Lisa recent, is it the right way around? No. Lisa recently sent me this and I hate the fact that the writing's upside down so I apologise about that. So she recently surprised me in friend mail in the summer and um, I'm so appreciative of it. You know, it is absolutely stunning. This duo chrome here, Blessed Out, is, oh, it's so perfect guys. It's chef's kiss. Um, and then this orange down here, Taylor Swift. I'm not being serious. It's called Shake It Off and it's just me trying to be a little bit funny. So Shake It Off is absolutely stunning. I need to do a swatch. I mean these are a bit crumbly as well. I'm hoping you can see it. It's this one here. I um, absolutely love that. Shall I do a swatch of the... Shall I do a swatch of the duo chrome then as well? Yeah. In the pan it looks white and then it shifts gold. I don't know if you're going to see this. It's just here. Um, but this palette, but this palette, guys, gosh, it's a favourite, all right, and I'm really happy to have it. I'm working on doing a least favourite to favourite in BH Cosmetics, but there's like one or two palettes I haven't used yet, so bear with me while I get that sorted. I'm going to be doing a shot my stash probably a little bit later than normal. It might run into two weeks rather than a week, just just because I pulled that Revolution and Harley Quinn palette out and wanted to do two looks with that, with it being a Halloween palette. Um, and I hadn't watched a lot of people do reviews on it, and so I thought that you might want to see mine. So if you haven't already watched it, I'm going to leave it in the info cards or at the end, so you can go and check that out. I'd much appreciate it. Hey guys, so editing Andrea speaking here. I was yeah, so I was at my mum's editing the video and then I realised that I left some palettes just behind me there where the palettes were out of the way because it all been on the bed and um, I didn't want them to break. But I forgot about them so I forgot to talk to you about them. So we're going to talk about them now very very briefly. 
So there's only four here, but I did use them in the summer, so they do need to be talked about. So this one here is the one that Amy got me, so it's the Nomad Cartagena Magica palette. Um, it's just absolutely beautiful. It's got the oranges, the yellows, the pinks. There's not one shade in here I don't like. I mean, I thought I might struggle with the pinks, to be honest, but I absolutely loved using it. So that's that one. So the next one is the Sydney Grace and Mel Thompson Tiny Marvels palette. I pulled this out because Maura asked me to do a look with it and I actually did a few looks for the channel I think or did I? Yeah I did a few looks for the channel and Sydney Grace actually took one of my looks and put it on their feed. It's something I'm very very proud of because that was the first brand that did it and then Glaminatrix when they used the Sugar and Spice palette I used one of my photos as well and put it on their stories. The palette packaging is the same as the outer packaging. It's just absolutely stunning. This is one of the main reasons I wanted it um, because the packaging is really, really nice. And, I've, and of course, to support Mel Thompson's family because um, I didn't get it in the first release. This is what it looks like. It's just absolutely stunning. The shimmers are so, so buttery. The mattes you can just blend really, really easily. Um, so that's that one. And then I used this one by Profusion Cosmetics, did quite a lot of looks with this, really really liked it. Um, in one of my posts somebody said to me, is it as vibrant as it looks or is it a case of you being very fair? I think it's a case of both. I am very very fair as you can see, but I do pack shades on pretty pretty well if I want them to be vibrant. Um, so I remember packing these mattes on quite well actually. So therefore like this yellow would show up really really well. So that's that. I do feel like Profusion Cosmetics are a really good drugstore brand. Not as good as Colourpop but they are a really good drugstore brand and this palette was only £6.99 from TK Maxx. I want to talk to you about is the Glam Light Ice Cream Dream palette that Naomi bought for me. I think for my birth. No it was for Christmas last year and I didn't use it because obviously most of the palette was like kind of spring summer. Um, I remember using it like for the neutrals and then like I pulled it out spring summer and used it and it oh, they're just so beautiful they're so shiny they're so wet looking on your eyes I absolutely love it and I'm really really glad I've got this in the collection it took quite a while for me to get it in the collection because I bought it from Discount Beauty Boutique and they didn't send it to me they didn't give me a refund for six months um, and Naomi you know kindly gifted me this for Christmas I was so over the moon and I still am now um, but yeah again it's one of my favourite pastel palettes um, so this definitely does conclude the video um, I've already concluded the video once before so I'm not going to really say too much more. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.